Our brain is the most complex part of the human body. The seat of our intelligence, interpreter of the senses, initiator of body movements and controller of behaviour. With the core areas of our explicit memory included in the hippocampus, neocortex and the amygdala. But what causes our brain to identify or recall an event, person or place which ceases yet to exist in the present moment of our life? This common phenomenon is called déjà vu. I probably say like my most memorable experience would probably be my first experience of it, and I was like about eight or nine. In um, I was at this recorder concert, like playing a recorder, and then um, I was in this church, and I remember standing by like this door, and these people were like walking out of it, and I was like, I swear I've seen them walk out of it before, like, and I was standing there. The difficulty regarding this study arises from the problem that there is no reliable way to purposefully create déjà vu. However, we can identify what is occurring within the brain whilst the sensation takes place. It's kind of hard to describe, you know, I guess when I was a kid, you know, I'd, I'd go to bed at night um, and I had these dreams about what I was doing at school and all these lessons I'd do, which hadn't happened, but, you know, I'd go to school the next day and it's almost like they wouldn't. I would be sitting there in whatever class and this teacher is, you know, repeating these questions to me and it's like I already know the answer, it's like I've been here before. And it's, it's like impossible to describe as a, as a kid because you're like, how, how do you explain this? How, do you, how has that happened? You know, like, I don't, it doesn't make sense. Studies argue that during déjà vu, a disconnection occurs within the deep structures of the brain between the conscious and unconscious processes. The signal which is being sent to the occipital lobe, the area of the brain responsible for the visual cortex, become temporarily out of sync, and thus we believe we have witnessed a moment familiar with us. So I was involved in a helicopter crash uh, about 10 years ago when I was filming, and uh, I've subsequently had dreams where I have a, a deja vu within the dream. I'm actually in the dream thinking I'm about to have a helicopter crash, but I'm not, but then in reality, but then within the dream I then have the helicopter crash for real. So it's a deja vu within a deja vu. Interestingly, this neurological abnormality, usually considered an epileptic seizure in the temporal lobe, is fairly common for those around their teenage years or early 20s, and so the argument corresponds simply with brain development. But does this give way to theories such as alternate and parallel universes, or memories from a previous life? Quite frankly, we will never know.